To begin today, I decided to do a video on songs that are chart toppers, but only because of synthesizers, lyrical content, or the way they are mixed. I'm not bashing any particular genre, but I do point, I do want to point out that music is a form of poetry that is tied to notes, chords, and tones in various volumes. Some of these songs are so stereotypical, but they are wonderful examples of how simple these new tunes are to create. Number one, My Humps by the Black Eyed Peas. The lyrics begin, What are you going to do with all that junk? All that junk in your trunk. Then the girl says, I'm going to get, 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 get you drunk. Get you drunk off of my love. My humps, my humps, my lovely lady humps. Now that doesn't sound pleasant, does it? Not when you sing it like that, but that's the way it's supposed to be said. I didn't think it sounded very good. It's the catchy beat, but it's not really a beat. It's a beatbox, which is digital. And somebody just tunes dials. Is that truly an artist? Then they go on, so I keep on taking. No, I ain't been taking. Kind of a confrontation there, isn't it? On to number two. Let's go right into I Whip My Hair Back and Forth by Willow Smith. I'm not going to get too deep into this song as it's self-explanatory, but it begins, I whip my hair back and forth, I whip my hair back and forth, I whip my hair back and forth, I whip my hair, and this goes on for 17 seconds or so. Then the first verse finally comes out. Spoken correctly, it sounds like this. Hop up off the bed, get my swag on. Pay no attention to them haters, because we flip them off. Okay, now I'm not trying to bash the grammar here, but it would be nice to use a little more creativity. And what the heck is someone so young singing about giving people the flip of the bird? Later, Willow says, I'ma get more shine in a little bit. Soon as I hit the stage, applause, I'm hearing it. You know what people think when you cannot form correct sentences? You're either ignorant or you're very uneducated by choice. Number three. I despise this song, mostly for the composition, if not for the artist herself. This is Bees in the Trap. Again, not even poetic or artistic writing. You can see it in the title. Sure, it's a funny take on the word bees, but that's not what she was going for here, as we can all imagine. She begins with, man, uh, then into the first verse, ain't shit, and they ain't saying nothing, a hundred can't tell me nothing, I bees in the trap. Okay, so we have someone who thinks they're using swear words to make them look tougher, or some kind of, you know, battle that they're having with other artists that, they, you know, they think they're on top, and they're not. To me, it shows a whole lot of ignorance and a whole lot of not caring. They don't care who they are. They don't care what they do. They just want the best of everything, and they think they're writing music, and that's fine. They're allowed to believe that. I am or it be would be correct. Not I be's in the trap. That's like saying I be, you be, he be, she be, we be, we be. We can all just start forming random sentences all over the place. She thinks she's clever, but she's not very bright. The people who put this song on the top 40 will probably fall victim to any downbeat this artist puts out in hopes of trying to fit in with society. But the biggest question is, why can't we just all be ourselves? Hopefully there'll be more to come on different genres so I don't stereotype the rap and hip hop industry. Because there are some good songs, it's just, we're starting to really slack people. Really starting the slack.